Fabio, teammate Tanya Sampran. At ako pa rin ang inyong events host ka teammate, the terrific host Frank Rizzo. Good morning, good morning everyone and happy listening to us. Yeah, good morning and happy rest day dun sa mga nagre-rest day. No? We'd like to greet everyone na naka-live ngayon via our Facebook and YouTube. And we'd also like to thank you for all the support na ginawa ninyo dun sa previous namin ng mga episodes. So meron tayong mga targets pa din na views, di ba? Yes! <laughs> Last time, sinag-usapan natin ngayon. So um, guys, comment kayo dun sa aming Facebook Live if you can relate or if you can say something about our topic for today. And Frank, do we have to thank someone? Yep, nagpapasalamat din tayo sa ating mga station managers sa pagtitiwalang binigay nila sa atin kay Sir Nestor Doria at Miss Kay Dacer. And of course, this program is made possible by Pochology Academy, Inspiring Greatness, Excellence and Success, and Creative Voices Production. Well, uh, just for information of everyone, Pochology Academy is a training organization with the mission to inspire motivate and empower Filipinos towards greatness, excellence and success. Pachology Academy offers uh, trainings, workshops and team building programs to schools, companies and all types of organizations to help individuals unlock their potential and become the best version of themselves. It is founded by Pocholo, the voice master Gonzalez. Nakikinig din siya sa atin ngayon. Hello sir, good morning. Good morning. The most recognized Filipino voice artist, veteran and radio broadcaster, internationally awarded youth advocate, author, highly sought after voice director, trainer, and motivational speaker. Yes, and same then, pr- um, produced and founded by Sir Pachola is the Creative Voices <coughs> Productions. Is It is the country's leading voiceover services company in the Philippines. We have produced thousands of voiceovers for commercials, dubbed anime and telenovela, video games, audiobooks, video presentations, and many more. It is also the home of the first and only voice acting school in the country, the Philippine Center for Voice Acting. Since 2005, it has produced more than 1,000 graduates. We can claim that 90% of the voice artists, hosts, broadcasters, and voiceovers in the Philippines have come from our school. So yes. Yeah. And um, live din po tayo napapakinggan uh, sa DYME Mas Bate, Explore TV Channel 17 Phil Products, Cable TV Butuan, one 07.1 Power FM Puerto Princesa Palawan and 97.1 Wow FM Rojas Northern Palawan. Yes, and you can text us via our text line. It's 0939-914-3988. And also you can call us the hotline 4120288 or 9977589. Live over Kamesa DZRJ 810 AM and via our website ww.atrimedia.com. And of course, live kami sa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. It's facebook.com slash 8trimedia, Twitter at 8trimedia, and Instagram at 8trimedia, pati YouTube. Eight try me, Jairo. Yeah. <laughs> Wala kayong excuse na hindi kami mapakinggan because we are live on all platforms, yes. radio, internet. And speaking of, uh, we have an exciting uh, episode for today. We are going to talk about uh, learning opportunities in the BPO. But first, I would like to greet uh, the listeners and also uh, nagpapasalamat lang ako sa Accenture for inviting me to uh, give talks yeah. yesterday. Galing, galing. Also to all the scholars of Unbound Philippines and thanks Mark Agulliano for inviting me. So, yun. You have any greetings, guys? Ay, of course, yung ma- family, supportive fans ko. Family and friends from the Queen City of the South. We have Cebu friends ko, Mama ko, Raquel Daria, and my brother who's gonna celebrate his Ay, birthday course, tomorrow. Family, fans oh. ko. Yep, and I'd like to greet as well my family. Nakikinig sila sa atin full force ngayon. My family, Rizzo family. Hello, hello, hi. Pati ang mga kaibigan ko from Romblon. Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan. Well, my family, nakikinig sila sa atin full force ngayon. My family, Rizzo family. Hello, hello, hi. Oh, Alright, so today is another very special episode, sabi ko nga. So people would normally assume na it's really hard to enter the call center or BPO industry, okay? They think that your English should be super fluent or you should have a certain college degree or mm-hmm. other people would uh, actually get overwhelmed with the requirements. But today, we are going to talk about why it's okay to give it a try. Everyone starts as amateurs and learning doesn't stop as once you signed your job offer. 
So we have call center trainers in the booth right now and they will share a lot of tips for you guys. It's gonna be a morning filled with knowledge and wisdom. I'm very excited. But first, uh, Frank, why don't you go ahead and introduce our uh, guests for today? Yes, I am so excited for this um, uh, episode of ours because we will have today two colleagues from the Microphone Club. Uh, we are uh, the three of us are members of uh, content development, content design and development team of the Microphone Club. We have uh, someone eight years in the BPO, five years in learning and development. The group. UV host himself, Mr. Christoph Contreras. Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good and we also have uh, 13 years in the BPO, six years in learning and development. The total host himself, Mr. Tony Bellaro. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Sa lahat po nang nakikinig sa atin today. Wow. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Call Center Radio. Why don't you go ahead, guys, and uh, say something about yourselves first? Okay, Christoph, how did you start? You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, um, about me, uh, I'm a a training officer now in in uh, the company that I work with. Uh, in in the previous, I, I was also a facil- um, a trainer, product specific trainer for um, a telecommunications company, and um, we we learned a lot about different cultures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, that's where. Uh, actually, that's where I learned most of the things that I know now. I, I believe, yeah. Oh wow, nice! And I believe you have a lot of share for today, de ba? Yes, of course. <laughs> ba, maraming baon na bomba. <laughs> Tony, yeah, like everyone else here in this room, I started as an agent. Mm-hmm. Lahat tayo nagsimula sa pagiging ahente. So, um, and then I worked my way up. Hindi ma- hindi siya madale. So it's uh, you know um, uh, hard work. And then I landed in the training um, department um, by accident. By okay, accident. by accident lang yon. Pinilit lang ako mag. Nandi naman pinilit pero first try ko mag uh, mag apply as a trainer. I failed. Ooh. And then the second try, I mean, I I got my AFIs from the observer, and then sabi ko sa sarili ko, the next time, I will make sure that I will nail the position. Wow. And then it's well, the rest is history. Sabi nga nila. So currently, I am uh, again like Christoph, a product and uh, a systems uh, specific trainer, mm-hmm. and uh, in few weeks time or few days time, I will be embarking into a new role as a training manager. So wow. Medyo, Level up na tayo ng konte. <laughs> That accident ay naka six years na siya sa learning and development yeah. and in a few days time manager. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So how how did you do it? I mean the first time, de ba? Mayo um, kabado ka and all. That's why mm-hmm. hindi mo siya hindi siya laging successful. What did you do nung na- next time naging ano na siya? Super successful and in fact it landed you the manager na position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually as I've mentioned, um, I took the areas for improvement mm-hmm. constructively. Mm, yeah. Kasi you know, it was, was my first time um, like applying for the kind of position um, and then of course dun ka lang matututo eh. if you are recep- receptive rather to the feedback then you would improve yourself di ba yeah. Have... Ako ba nag-observe sa iyo nung ikaw yung uh, nag-anong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alaman na. <laughs> yung mentor, okay. Kasi pareho kami ng mentor, which is quite mentor. nice. Kasi pareho kami nandito ngayon. Natutuwa siya mm. pag yes, napanood niya tayo. <laughs> yes. yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I also had the same experience. Kasi ganun din. The first time I tried applying for the, for the trainer post, I mm-hmm. failed. And then I, I thought I was doing well. Tapos nung sa mm. feedback, I, I took it na something that I will... Na I will treasure no parang mas ma- makakatulong siya sa akin mm-hmm. so I, i really studied it dun sa mga sa mga pieces of advice na binigay nila sa akin then uh, the next time that same person yung, yung nag-observe sa akin sabi niya are you still open to um, to applying because we need one yeah of course i am sige tas nung then again the rest is history <laughs> kasi minsan dapat ilulunok mo rin yung pride mo oh, kasi okay. kung gusto mo talaga di ba kahit Sige, go lang. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, hashtag no quitting. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's, that's how we will learn. <laughs> Yun oh, yung, oh. Kagabi nga napanood ko yung episode nung uh, MMK ni Pia Words. Watching my... <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many times you fail, what matters is, you know, how many times Correct. you got back up. Yeah. So, exactly. Ayun, so today we are also going to talk about how uh, to strengthen your communication skills dun sa mga fresh grads mm-hmm. na nagpaplano silang mag-apply sa call center pero hindi sila confident how to 
uh, speak in English mm-hmm. or how to improve your confidence or your to develop your personality. Isa rin yun sa pag-uusapan natin. And, and of course, how to gain more knowledge and equip yourself with the skills to level up. Okay? Kasi sa loob ng uh, isang company, like for example, in the, the BPO industry, napakaraming uh, training opportunities, learning opportunities inside mm-hmm. that will help you propel your career. So, it, it's up to you guys if you will really take advantage on taking those. Yes. Yung mga leadership trainings and all that. Ano ba yung normally mga kinakandak ninyong training, uh, Crystal? Um, I conduct personality development training. I also do uh, English enhancing, uh, en- enhancing English proficiency training, so, mm-hmm. so, so communications. I also do uh, cultural immersion, mm-hmm. U.S. Australia uh, culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it's lahat top three. Yeah, marame. Yeah, marame. So parang ready nyo lang yon, and then yes. and after the break we can talk about it. Yes. No? Correct. So don't worry, guys. By the way, uh, when we come back, we will talk about more uh, this topic. So. Time check in the Philippines. It's 7.22 a.m. Stay with us. Ito. Okay, and we are still back. Welcome back to Call Center Radio. And ang topic pa rin po natin ngayon, mga ka-teammates, ay learning opportunities in the BPO. And we would like to greet our uh, Facebook Live viewers. So if you were uh, watching us right now, please say hi in the comments or Give it like a like button or a heart. Pusuan mo. Pusuan mo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good morning to Miss Rosalie Casmo. Si Misha na sino? Good morning. Irma Rayon Doyan Dela Cruz. Crystal Ann Marie. Mary Davis. Sorry, sorry. Baka mali yung basa ko. Ram Cruz. Arvin Pads. Kim Lanting. Che Luna Marpuri. And Cheryl Bulata, ang dami. Keep on sharing this, guys, and uh, participate later sa ating discussion. Uh, by the way, before we start, we would like to also play uh, the Pachologist video. It's gonna be uh, episode 4, and we will talk about the, the video as well right after this. So, please watch. Ay, nire-ready pa ni Kuya. Wait lang daw. Mga 2 minutes. <laughs> And batiin ko din. May nagpapabate. From Irma, is, uh, kasama ko po siya dati sa Global Learning Support sa Acquire Learning. Hanggang sa lumipat kami ng Ubiquity Global Services. Binabate ko lahat, lahat, lahat po ng mga agents, team leads, team managers, managers namin, Sir Paul, lahat po ng taga-Acquire Learning. Hello, hello po sa inyong lahat. Hello. And also my teammates sa uh, uh, G-Network Manila. Happy listening or happy watching wherever you are. Yeah, go ahead. For a few minutes each day, the Pochologist helps you discover your potential and bring out your greatness, igniting your passion and developing your skills. Pocholo Gonzalez is your Pochologist, your mentor, and your friend in the school of life. Magandang araw kaibigan. Ako si Pocholo Gonzalez, ang inyong Pochologist. Ako ang founder ng Pochology Academy, the school of life that inspires you towards greatness, excellence, and success. 
Kapag ba nagtanim ka ng buto ngayon, mamumunga na ba yan bukas? Kapag nag-aral ka ng ballet ngayon, prima balerina ka na ba sa susunod mong performance? E kung magsimula ka mag-exercise ngayon, bukas ba may abs ka na? Alam kong alam mo naman ang sagot, hindi lahat ng pangarap agad-agad natutupad. Pinagtatrabahuhan yan. Lagi ko nga sinasabi, dapat willing kang mag-invest ng team. Yun ang time, effort, ability o availability at minsan, money. Dapat magtsaga ka, committed ka, at higit sa lahat, passionate ka sa ginagawa mo. Pero, paano kung binubuhos mo na ang lahat ng oras mo, ng effort mo, paano kung naubos na rin pati ang pera mo? Pero sa huli, nag-fail ka pa rin, na-reject, na-disappoint, na-frustrate. Maraming tao ang mabilis mag-give up sa unang pagsubok pa lang. Sa bagay nga naman, masakit kaya ma-reject? Sino nga ba namang may gustong paulit-ulit mag-fail? Tsaka, bakit ka pa mag a ng panahon kung alam mong madidisappoint ka lang ulit? Pero alam mo ba, si Steven Spielberg, ilang beses na-reject sa film school bago siya naging isang Hollywood blockbuster director? Si Walt Disney, nasisante sa una niyang trabaho dahil daw wala siyang imagination. Akalaan mo yun? Walt Disney walang imagination? Bago niya natayo ang happiest place on earth. At sinong makakalimot kay Thomas Edison na nakaimbento ng incandescent light bulb sa ikasampung libong attempt? Kaibigan, tandaan mo to. We fail not because we're doing the wrong thing. We fail because we don't do the right thing long enough. Persistence. Yan. Oo, persistence. Yan ang kaibahan ng mga taong nagtatagumpay sa hindi nagtatagumpay. Kung gusto mo ng isang bagay, kailangan mong maging porsigido. Kahit ilang beses ka pang bumagsak, pumalpak o tanggihan. Oo, masakit mag-fail. Pero mas masakit yung habang buhay mong itatanong sa sarili mo, paano nga kaya kung nagpatuloy ako? Hinding-hindi ko makakalimutan yung unang beses na nagkaroon ako ng linya sa dubbing. Excited na excited akong pumasok sa studio para i-record ang kaisa-isa kong linya. Yung bang lisanin na natin ang dagat ngayon. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, ito na ang big break ko. May tono pa nga ako noon yung parang sing-song pattern. Nakakatuwang pakinggan pero alam mo, sa halip na ituro sa akin kung anong tamang delivery, hakalain mo inagaw sa akin ang script ng isang veteranong dubber at pinaalis ako. Hindi daw ako magaling at hindi daw ako bagay mag-voice acting. Paano ko nakinig ako sa kanya? Paano nga kaya kung hindi na ako nag-audition ulit sa kahit sa ang studio? Malamang, hindi ko na rin naitayo ang aking kumpanya o ang aking voice acting school. Malamang, sila-sila pa rin ang nasa loob ng industriya. Malamang, walang kinikilalang voice master. At malamang, hindi mo mapapanood ang motivational video na ito ngayon. Kaibigan, oo oh, ikaw. Kaya simula sa araw na ito, gusto kong itanim mo sa isip mo na you are only one step away from reaching your goal. One more audition, one more phone call. One more proposal. Oo, maaaring ma-reject ka ulit o mag-fail. Pero pasasaan ba't mararating mo rin ang pangarap mo? Paano ba tayo natutong maglakad ng mga bata tayo? Hindi ba nadatapa tayo? Pero tumatayo ulit? Nadapa na naman. Tumayo na naman. Nadapa pa rin. Pero tumatayo pa rin. Isipin mo, paano nga kaya kung merong isang baby na nagsabing, Ha! Ang hirap naman. Siguro hindi para sa akin ang paglalakad. Eh di pa ka may office mate ka o kaklasikang gumagapang papasok ng building ninyo. <laughs> Sabi ko nga sa aking putsology, failure is part of the road to greatness. If you don't stumble onto failure, you won't stumble onto your greatness. Sana marami kang natutuhan sa araw na ito. Mag-comment ka lang sa video na ito at i-share kung ano ang iyong natutunan. Muli, ako si Putsolo de Leon Gonzales, ang inyong The Putsologist na nagpapaalala sa inyo na Do great and be great. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. You just had your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and empowerment from the Pochologist. Tell us what you think by leaving a comment below. Subscribe now for more life lessons. Pocholo Gonzalez is your Pochologist, your mentor and your friend in the school of life. The Pochologist. The Pochologist. Inspiring greatness, excellence, and success. Visit www.pochologist.com. Uh, don't give up because you don't know how close you are to success. Yeah. Diba?
It's like you're one step na lang. Tapos, what you, uh, parang hindi mo alam the next time you try, ito na pala yun. And what if you gave up? Mm-hmm. You will, we will never have the chance to have your dreams. Yep. At uh, i-quote ko si MK Yara noon. Gustong-gusto ko yung sinabi niya nung nag-training. Sabi niya, failure, ama, success comes from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Oh, oh di ba? Ang oh, galeng. <laughs> Pero <laughs> <laughs> naging speechless tayo dun oh, sa sinabi niya. Oh, yeah. And MK actually is one of my trainees. That's why I'm really glad that he's really, you know, out there already. And, um, you know, dun ko nakita talaga na from the start kasi na, nakita ko siya eh. So, as, as we're talking about persistence, di ba? So, nagsikap and then mm-hmm. look at where he is now. Parang yes. Ganun, diba? Yes. And yung isa rin sa mga favorite quotes ko, kasi that's uh, one of my principles in teaching. Yung f- meaning ng fail I-, I encourage them It's okay to fail Because fail means It's the first attempt In learning Ooh. Wow Quotable quote <laughs> Yes Anyway uh, We are also going to talk about Yung mga fresh grads pala dyan Na uh, yun nga Gustong mag-try And then takot sila na What if hindi ako matanggap Or what if mm-hmm. ma-reject ako Remember when Tanchong was here Yung first ever May guest tayo And then parang he said Na he attempted to apply Seven times wow. And then ako I got rejected twice bago ako na-hire ng company. So, I mean, nandun talaga yun. You will get a lot of no's in life. And the more no's you get, the sweeter the yeses will taste. Oh, Now, yes! For me, yun yung talagang experience ko. So, uh, for example, uh, fresh grads ka. So, natatakot ka na baka hindi ka ma-hire dahil hindi ka naman confident sa English mo. Uh, how will you improve or how will you make yourself uh, qualified sa position? So, Let's talk about how to strengthen the communication skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's have Tony first. Go ahead. Yeah. So about communication skills, I, I guess nagsisimula yan sa confidence mo, sa sarili mm-hmm. mo. Kasi no matter how good you are speaking English, even mm-hmm. you know uh, people that we know who really can speak good English, kung walang self-confidence, hindi rin nila mailabas. Mm-hmm. So just uh, look at yourself. Um, uh, kung sa sarili mong wika or sa Tagalog ba, kaya mong express sa sarili mo, mm-hmm. that's one thing. Okay na, step one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next thing that you need to practice on would be um, the language na. So, ex- expose yourself to the language. So, paano yun? Manood ka ng movies. Yes. Magbasa ka. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Makinig ka. So, yung yung mga ano, senses mo, lahat na labas yun. At more impor- importantly, rather, yung uh, maramdaman mo rin. So, nakita mo, narinig mo, naramdaman mo. Mm-hmm. And then, you'll never know one of these days na encapsulate ka na nung English language. No, and th- then that's the time that you will start to think na in English. Kasi that's the only thing that um, for most uh, new consultants or new agents, medyo mm-hmm. nagkakaroon ng disconnect kasi they think in Tagalog. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then you translate And then you translate it like right then and there. So right, uh, but now, dapat mag-practice ka na to think in English. Yes, that's what I always uh, <laughs> tell them. Na when, when you want to speak in English, you have to think in English, or else binibigyan mo ng pinapahirapan mo yung brain mo. Mm-hmm. Kasi three tasks ang ginagawa mo. You're taking in Filipino, pinapa translate mo, and then chakal mo sa salita in mm-hmm. English. So that's that's really difficult for you to to speak. Um, like what Tony said, de ba? Um, in order for you to learn, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Nandoon kasi tayo ay natatawo tawo, baka mamaya ma ma matawana na ako mm-hmm. or Or pipintasan ka, oh, pipintasan ka ma- magkamali ako, ganyan. Eh, that's part of our culture. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Yes. And yung pinipintasan, so it's also important na yung environment mo, supportive Support. sa kung anong gusto mo. Say, sa, sa house, sa bahay mm-hmm. po ninyo, if you, EOP policy, if you want, sa bahay. <laughs> ano, <laughs> oh, di ba? Why not? <laughs> Alam nyo, ma-share ko lang yung ano, kasi I have a three-year-old kid. Um, hindi kami inglesero magsalita sa bahay, pero um, nanunod kasi siya ng mga movies Epa na English. O, hindi naman Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Tapos, nag- nagulat kami, hala, nag-i-English siya. Ang galing. Diba? Kasi so, ibig sabihin, no, na-immerse na sila sa language and that's yep. how they learn their first language. Kung ano yung talagang lagi nilang na- naririnig. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kasi, um, the language is a skill. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo naman siya kaya matutunan ng overnight lang. Mm-hmm. You have to practice it. Sa mga learners ko, I always tell them, well, one, kung gusto mo ma-enjoy ka, di, yeah, you watch movies or listen to podcasts mm-hmm. na mga yes. exciting for you. Or yung mab- magbasa kayo ng magazine, kahit hindi book eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi I'm, I'm not really um, reading a lot of books. So, Apir tayo ma- dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Pero magazines, kasi mas makaka-relate ka na in, in your uh, personal uh, uh, level. Tapos, yun nga, 
speak as much as possible in English. Hindi kailangan 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, pag nagsisimula pa lang. Mm-hmm. Uh, even sa sabi na natin kahit sa jeep or sa bus. Sabi ko kayo, magkasama kayo friend. Huwag nang mahiya, oh, di ba? Huwag ka nang mahiya. mahiya. Sige okay, lang, eh, magiging career mo naman yan oh. in the future. <laughs> Parang, huwag nyo nang pansinan kung may magsabi, ay bakit sila naging English? Oh. <laughs> smart <laughs> shaming yun. Oo, oh, 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 smart shaming. <laughs> sa jeep, manong payment. Oh, <laughs> Where's my change? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think it depends on your tone, okay? Uh, when you speak in na. English na, yung parang you're not being sounded like konyo. Kasi di ba, some people mm. would like, kung konyo ka like or yung iba tinataglish nila like mm-hmm. why are they not following the batas I mean how does it sound I mean it sounds like you're just being nagi inerte yes mm-hmm. so y- yun yung parang nagiging irritating yes. for me ha but uh, in order for you to learn how to speak English or just to strengthen your communication and sabi sa amin ng trainer uh, trainer namin you just have to remember three letters I mean t- mm-hmm. CCP okay first is C is to correct correct yourself So w- when you speak you have to be uh you know uh, actually you have to be conscious pala. Mm-hmm. First you have to be conscious yes. for example mali ka uh-huh. ng preposition you, you know na no. in on or at yung dapat mong gagamitin doon and then you correct yourself mm-hmm. the second C correct yourself for example I was um at the elevator oh I was on the elevator mm-hmm. or I was in the the room you have to correct yourself right away so conscious ka and then you correct yourself and then para um masanay ka talaga and then para ma-master mo yun you have to uh, do constant practice mm-hmm. that's practice. how you really uh, learn it yeah because um, we are not aware no, that whenever we speak in Tagalog in our minds we try to translate it word per word mm-hmm. yes. and sometimes in English iba yung sense niya eh. mm-hmm. diba uh, parang you, you cannot directly translate yung isang word and expect the person to like understand it the way you you are thinking it in your mind kasi diba merong words that are similar in meaning but not exactly the yes. same yes. Mm-hmm. So what, when you correct yourself kasi or when others give you feedback take it as it is and then make it as a constructive criticism. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hindi don't turn yourself down na ay sinabi niya sa akin hindi na ako magaling mag-English o oh, hindi na nga lang ako mag-English. Parang mm-hmm. ikaw mismo you don't believe in yourself. So how can you say that those people will believe na eventually magi-improve ka? So important 'yon whenever they give feedback Be kind and accept the feedback. Thank them for the feedback kasi hindi madaling magbigay ng feedback. Yes. Alam mo ba, offend yung person, yes. parang, am I going to say this? Baka nakasalala yung friendship namin dito. Pero, si, kung nabigay niya yung feedback na yun, ibig sabihin, gusto kanyang mag-improve. Diba, yun naman That's yung binibigay naman. That's a true friend. That's a true friend. Yes. Yun Kapag... naman yung sinasabi niyong mga trainers, diba? Mm-hmm. You try to give them the... the ano ba, pinaka-constructive con- feedback that they can take. Yes. So, actually, as trainers, mahirap din yun. Mm-hmm. Na mag, you, hindi mo na basta mag-feedback ha. Mm-hmm. Diba? It should be really handled with care. Kasi you can make or break a person dahil lang dun sa medyo konting words sa sinabi mo na offend na, na dishearten na and all. And as, as trainers, um, we really make sure na we transition our consultant successfully from the training room sa floor. Mm-hmm. Diba? Eh kung doon pa lang sa Sinatawag natin sa training room diba? This is a safe environment. safe environment So lahat to Learning experience Eh doon pa lang Kung hindi mo sila um, Naalagaan Or they were not taken care of Then paglabas niyan What would you expect? Diba? Exactly Tsaka yun nga eh, You're dealing with Different kinds of personality Uh, sorry, different kinds of personalities and, and different kinds of, of learning curve, no? Kaya yung yung pagbibigay mo ng feedback sa kanya, um, teka lang, paano ba yung approach na Iba-iba iba dapat. Mm-hmm. Wow. Ako, ako dati, I've had an experience na uh, nag interview ako for recruitment, mm-hmm. di ba? Ang hirap din pala nun. Sasabihin mo sa tao, face-to-face kasi kami nagsasabi na, ay, bagsak siya. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi yung paper lang kasi sa southern company is discreet pa paper. <laughs> Ganun na ba ngayon? I mean, sinasabi na talaga na ano? Na... Y- yung summit kasi parang last na yun, final na siya. So, we, sh- we should tell na... Ayon, um, okay. you didn't make it. Uh, okay. And I think it's a more personal uh, way to do it, rather uh, than letting the, them the expect letter, or wait. Uh, na patawagan na lang, mm-hmm. diba? normally. Yes. Why prolong the agony? Well, if you were uh, still applying for a job, you mga fresh grads, Jan, batch 2017. Um, in order for you to make a uh, good impression dun sa recruiter or dun sa HR na especially kapag na-invite ka for an interview okay, you have to work on three things okay visual isa yun sa pinaka um, sabi nila kahit na ano yung words more kung pangat yung magsalita or whatever nadadala siya sa panadamit okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so again dress up on the day of your interview and then uh, ilang percent lang more than half 
kasi uh, I think it's 55% how how you appear ba yun yung impression na ganun tao sa yo so dress up kay look clean and then smile when you talk so parang kausap mo lang sila parang friends lang mm-hmm. and then uh, don't focus too much on your accent kasi that's the problem with uh, uh, millennials ngayon parang they are imitating someone or they're parang basing it on the Hollywood stars kung paano sila mag-English it's really hard because it's an extra effort mm-hmm. na maging British Ameri- uh, British or American accent ka. focus on your uh, message kailangan concise clear understandable and Correct. the more you talk the less they ask so diba pag isang tanong sa'yo expound mo na lahat yun <laughs> actually diba ubusin na yung time oh, sa internet oh, para wala na silang follow up question parang dire direction na lang at saka y- yung, yung sasabihin mo yung talagang alam mo by heart kasi yung katulad nga nung friend ko nun na in-interview siya diba parang okay so what was the last uh, book you read sabi niya oh I love books sinabi niya agad <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, eh yung interviewer, alam na alam niya yung Harry Potter. Right. So tinanong na siya, okay, so you know what happened with yun ito? Parang nakaka-release oh, pa lang nung fi- yung ano na, yung final book. And he wasn't really able to respond. He didn't even know Dumbledore or he didn't even know. Oh. So, I mean, do not pretend, okay? Mm, yes. Kasi malalaman talaga nila 'yon. Parang may nag-aral sila ng psychology yes. kaya. They have no a way. Yun. Mm. <laughs> Saka leverage on your strengths. Kasi diba, you know it by heart. You can tell it kahit baliktad rin man yung mga questions na 'yon. Mm-hmm. Don't highlight yung mga weakness mo because it will it will not do you any good. Mm. So, kung saan ka magaling, don't focus on it and then content, yun nga messaging. What do you want to convey? Bakit kanila iha-hire in the first place? Kasi nag-apply ka eh. So, paano mo mababenta yung sarili mo to them? That's yeah. very important. Mm-hmm. And that um, open-ended questions during interviews, that's your time to shine eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The interviewer, wala siyang control kung saan yun papunta. So, make it something na of your or in your benefit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Surprise yun. them. Yun talaga yun. Yung parang something na oh, sabi niya, this is interesting. Lalo na kung tech support yung ina-applyan ninyo sa call center. Uh, for a tech support position, ang requirement kasi doon, detailed ka magsalita. For example, tatanungin ka nila, how would you describe your route from house to the office? So, kailangan meron kang mga um, step-by-step process. Step-by-step process. Uh-huh. Kasi yun talaga yung gagawin mo. Kung sales naman, yung position na ina-applyan mo, kailangan talaga magaling ka magbenta. Mm-hmm. Then, kaya, kasi may mga tanong doon like, how would you describe color or red to, I mean, to blind a blind person, person di ba? Mm-hmm. So, ang sabi nila, sabi dun sa, nag-comment dun sa isang, kasi tinanong ko na to dun sa aking page eh. Sabi nila, you describe it using other senses. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, kung, kung blind yung person na yun, sabi mo lang sa kanya, red, okay, imagine the taste of an apple that's red. Mm-hmm. Parang gano'n. Oh. Or, related to emotions, mm-hmm. red is mostly red anger is red. or confidence. Ganon. Yeah. Well, pa, iba-iba pa. Passion pala. palaga. Oo. Oh, oh. Passion. <laughs> Depende ko na lang naisip mo that time. So, basta, <laughs> reference to other senses. Okay, mag-red. Uh, explain mo na lang. Diba? Oh, oh. Oh. Yung happiness, so, i-connect mo na lang. Oh. 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 Yung pa maganda, dapat marunong ka mag-segue. Eh. Yes. Yung uh, smooth uh, uh. transition ka talaga. Ayaw kasi nila yung parang awkward silence or yung dead air. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang nag-iisip ka pa. And you you have to be very spontaneous, spontaneous. kung nag apply ka sa isang call center position or kahit sa kahit sa ibang corporate companies diba hindi lang naman call center talaga yung nag, nag, nag parang nag interview sila and then in English wala naman akong nakitang interview na in Tagalog mm-hmm. oh, oh. and if well, ever corporate meron, world meron ba <laughs> <laughs> there, there are there, there, there are, are companies there are, diba? pero kapag tinanong ka in Tagalog uh, pwede ka namang sumagot ng Tagalog uh, hintayin mo mag Tagalog muna yung nag-i interview uh, 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 ano? kasi par- par- proper etiquette din yun Yes. Eh. Kung tinanong ka ng English, then answer in English. Kung yes. Tagalog, then Tagalog. Medyo awkward pag tinanong ka ng Tagalog, sagutin mo in English. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Medyo, Medyo show off oh, oh. naman oh, oh. din yes. yung mm-hmm. dating. Oh. Hindi po ito beauty pageant na. Can you translate it <laughs> please in Tagalog? Kaya ba kasi yung andaming fillers? <laughs> <laughs> mga ta- kaya naman yeah. yung mga... Um, um, kaya naman yung I believe that... Actually, mga gan. Actually. That may be basically... Actually. Pretty much. I know. Pretty much. Might as well. Anyway, so pag na hire naman na kayo, di ba? It doesn't stop there. Yes. Iniisip ko sa pag pag na hire na ako, okay na ibig kaya kung mag-handle ng calls, kaya kung magsalita in English and then that's it. No, I- inside the company, they invest uh, so much money para dun talaga sa growth ng mga employees. For example, dun sa amin, uh, you will uh, undergo leadership training, you will undergo uh, writing with precision, how to speak, how to confidently uh, manage your stakeholders. 
So, take advantage of those and then you will notice kung gaano ka nag-improve from the day na nag-start ka. Mm-hmm. Kasi, if you will just look back, I suggest uh, right now, uh, kung mag-start kayo since, di ba, marami naman ng gadgets ngayon na pwede mag-take ng video, you you, you videotape yourself or mm-hmm. you, you do vlogging kahit na hindi nyo siya i-upload and then you see or pakinggan nyo yung sarili nyo kung paano kayo magsalita ngayon and then kung paano siya nag-improve through the years. Because mm-hmm. that time talaga when I was like starting, um, I mean, super si hirap kasi parang fresh grads and then mm-hmm. pasok ako sa call center by the way let's watch this <laughs> joke lang Ay, <laughs> anyway <laughs> parang gusto mo talaga akala mo talaga may monet may, may video ako na nagstart ako <laughs> ayan <life> um, story <laughs> one more thing that's good about uh, working in a BPO or call center is yung culture ng promote from within mm-hmm. that is why um, companies really ayun nga sabi ni, ni ni MA they they invest so much in, in in training ako i was part before of a startup company of uh, w- was one one of the pioneers ng acquire learning dito sa sa Pilipinas mm-hmm. and then i end up getting the position of uh, reports analyst Th- then i became the, uh, a team lead doon din sa company na yon mm-hmm. yes Oh, related then to that, no? Because the companies actually do not hire the person who can do the job only. Yung kung may opening man sila, example tech support, they do not just hire the person who can do tech support only. They actually hire the potential that they see in you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's why important mag upskill ka din. Hindi por ka tech support ka lang hanggang dun lang din yung kaya mo, de ba? It's also self con- uh, it will boost your self confidence din eh. it will help you more more than it will hurt you. Saka di ba they say the best asset of the company are the people. Hindi naman yung mga equipment or what not. It's the people working for that company that's the best asset. Kaya pag hinare ka nila tama ka. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang basta consultant yung nakikita nila mm-hmm. ah baka potential tong maging ganyan, yes. maging ganyan. But don't be too hard on yourself kapag <coughs> bawa, either nag-apply ka pa lang or natanggap ka na. Don't be too hard on yourself that you have to to already know everything. You, ha- oh, oh. you learn it one thing at a time. Yes. Hindi mo siya ma- matututunan talaga agad. Pansin ko din yan sa mga trainees natin. Especially oh. from uh, yung one account to another. From one call center to mm-hmm. another. Siyempre, you have to unlearn things, di ba? Tapos mm-hmm. may bago. Medyo na-frustrate sila. Parang hindi ko makuha yung system. Ganyan, ganyan. Kasi dati sa ko, i- ibang center nila, sobrang galing na nila. Mm-hmm. Or SMEs na sila or whatnot. Yes. And then I tell them, you know, give your self at uh, no, enough time enough time to learn mm-hmm. tapos aralin mo siya and all and then eventually you would be an expert then tapos mm-hmm. saka binabalik ko sa kanila yung tanong eh, na all oh, sa previous mo ba nung the next day na natutunan mo na agad yung, yung system hindi naman di ba mm-hmm. you have to learn it tapos meron ako mga pinapagawa activities na on the first attempt ganito lang yung nagawa mo on the second attempt it's Mas better level the up na. and then third attempt it's way way better so it's the process is like that you improve yourself mm-hmm. tsaka if SME ka na mm-hmm. doesn't mean na talagang super expert ka na eh Uh-oh. so parang advice to everyone be you, may you be an SME <coughs> or bago lang be a forever fool and curious kasi pag, ala- pag tanggap mo sa sarili mo na ay hindi ko yan alam or I, I still have a lot to learn ma, ma- encourage mo yung sarili mo to, to do something about it eh. you top mentors ganun and related to that now we have a question from our page from the call center page mm. call center call radio sen- call center radio page I'm sorry please ah, follow guys correct myself <laughs> <laughs> we have a question from AJ sabi niya I already applied in 10 companies but the company that I applied yesterday is the most disappointing I was in my final interview then the interviewer said I sound scripted which mm. my co-applicant said that I was not she asked me what did I do before I went to their site I said I did a research about the company and the tips on how to ace job interviews I just don't get it I just prepared for the interview by the way I'm a fresh graduate don't you think it's time for me to move on in other BPO companies okay. let's give our guests the chance yes, to Christoph. answer that go ahead mm. so did they motivate you is it 10 na ba? Then, uh, then yung and, uh, mm. na. Sabi nung interviewer, he sounds scripted. scripted. Um, number one, subjective talaga yon. So, hindi mo siya mm. mapipilit na well, some people say na hindi, tapos sa interviewer, scripted daw siya. And then, um, try to reassess yourself. Mm-hmm. Diba? Naging mm-hmm. scripted ka ba talaga? Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and he said na, I watched yung mga 
uh, or nag-research siya and all, maybe naging ganun yung tunog. That was the reason probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yes. So what I can really um, advise for him to do, yes, move on. Move on, move on lang tayo, mga <laughs> friends. Um, uh, sabi nga nila, marami naman dyan na pwedeng opportunity. Maswerte talaga yung mga um, uh, attempt. Fr- second attempt. Oo, oh, oh, kasi yung mga panahon natin, sige, hey, watch this video <laughs> ulit. <laughs> <laughs> Very, <laughs> ano, di ba pag yung may certain company, dapat ang taas ng standard and, kasi konti pa lang pero ngayon madami na so you will definitely have a lot of choices and then be sincere Mm-mm. yun lang yun you cannot fake sincerity mahahalata talaga yan ng nag interview sa sa'yo Mm-mm. so just um, relax ka lang chill ka lang next Mm-mm. time so definitely may matututunan ka sa experience mong yan and of course mag move on yes yeah, hindi <laughs> lang naman yung mag research eh uh, sobrang swerte nga ng generation natin ngayon, oh, that we, oh. if we want to learn something new Just check Google, no? Uh, it's okay to research, but when you research and kunwari may kinuha ka na something that you can use, tweak it, no? Uh-oh. Na base sa personality mo. Mm-hmm. Make it your own, Make it your ganun. own. Kasi doon ka ma- mapapaghalataan kasi. Dahil syempre, nasa internet yan, of course, the interviewers might uh, must have seen those. Mm-hmm. So magiging para ay narinig ko na sa application. Oh, parang si MA yan, parang ganoon kasi oh. pinanood kanya or something. <laughs> yan yung diba? sinabi niya eh. Oh. Yun talaga ng ano, parang dun yun na nag-inspire sa akin to keep on doing what I do. Mm. Whenever I, I get messages from people na oh, uh, I watched your video and your tips helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. Kaya ngayon na hire na ako. Wow. Yes. For me Good that's job. the definition of success. Correct. Yes. Kasi diba, ibig sabihin you made an impact on someone yes. in a positive way and mm-hmm. inspired them to keep pushing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wag, Maganda yun eh. Siguro wag tayong mag-overthink. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. Pag nandun na sa interview. And humble yourself. Kasi oh, kung, oh. kung baka naman hindi mo tinitake yung uh, objective naman talaga yung feedback sa'yo and mm-hmm. then yun nga, diba? That's how you will not improve kung parang hindi ka nakikinig sa kanila. Kaya pag sinasabi nila, mga haters mo lang yan, kaya nila sinasabi sa'yo. <laughs> But what if they have a oh, point? Oh. Yes. Okay. Doesn't mean they're haters already dahil lang may sinasabi sila sa yung uh, hindi mo gusto. Mm-hmm. Tsaka love your haters kasi mal- ano, doon ka matututo eh. True. True. Enough. Yeah. Tsaka practice, no? Kasi sometimes, we, yun nga, we, we search the internet but then we do not construct them in our own words. Okay. That's why it sounds so scripted. scripted. Yes. Don't memorize it. Practice at home. Magpa-interview ka sa friend mo and be confident. When I say confident, yung alam mo sa sarili mo that you can do it but make sure na hindi ka over overconfident. Kasi iba na yun eh. That's Overcom- arrogance yeah. na. Mm-hmm. Arrogance and boastful ka na. Yes. And if ako yung interviewer mo and I'd see arrogance in you, um, I might not get you. Diba? Be, be humble and be confident and then practice. Know yun. the right words to say. Yes. And yun nga eh, may, uh, na-remind ako na isa sa mga, nung isa sa mga watchers natin. Parang nakita ko yun. Yes. <laughs> This is actually my favorite quote from Albert Einstein, you know? Mm-hmm. Kasi, you've applied from uh, for uh, 10 companies na and medyo nag-fail mm-hmm. sabi ni Albert Einstein the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over mm-hmm. and expecting different a different result so you may be doing the same thing in those 10 companies mm-hmm. maybe you have to do something different, different that you haven't done before kumambling ka di ba? bumuga ka ng apoy di ba? kumambling split yan na hired headdress ka pag dali bag 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 so I guess le- let's have final words lang regarding the the topic I mean why should they apply in a call center and what are the learning opportunities that they can take advantage of in mm-hmm. the company okay so uh, my advice for those um, nagbabalak mag uh, call center um, again Just be yourself. Uh, if you're a fresh grad, um, sabihin nila, wala pa naman akong experience ng ganyan, ganyan. Mas maganda nga yun sa mga trainers na tulad namin kasi blank sheet. Yes. Di ba? Um, uh, we, mas madaling i-hold, mas madali kang i-mold and then, you know, look forward to every learning that you will get in a call center, in the call center industry or in the BPO. Uh, maraming makikilalang tao, marami kang... Kasi di ba, call center is a very diverse company. Marami kang mga co-employees na bata, matanda, di ba? Lahat, lahat so, nandun na. Kasi very open siya. And, um, yun lang. So, again, sincerity lang din talaga ang hinahanap natin. And then, work hard. Walang trabaho pong madali. Wala pong trabaho madali. Kahit sa ampung industriya ka tayo magpunta, lahat po pinaghihirapan at pinagsisikapan. So, um, uh, yung iba, gusto maging team leader agad. Sige, okay lang. At least may goal ka. Yeah. Diba? Yes. Don't so, just focus on the goal, guys. Focus on your behavior as well. Exactly. Correct. Team lead ka lagi kang late. Oo. 
paano ko t- <laughs> diba? diba? how would your boss notice you kung hindi ka naman mm-hmm. nagpapakita ng drive and Correct. really going the extra mile like, ginagawa mo lang kung ano yung job description diba? <laughs> exactly so talagang step up talaga every single day diba you are just as good as your last performance sa BPO kasi yes. so araw-araw Today, in tomorrow you're, you're out, out. Mm-hmm. parang yeah. gano'n <laughs> so huwag naman natin sila takutin pero gano'n talaga eh. pero it would really push you to be your best all the time so yun lang masasabi ko sa, sa akin naman um, if you you are planning to to join the BPO world no mm-hmm. um and dun sa mga iba na they are thinking negatively about the the industry call center is not just taking in calls and that's it mm-hmm. it's a very diverse culture in when when you're inside a production area they will ask you to learn for example kung hanbo yung account mo you will learn being technical pagdating sa computer mm-hmm. you'll also learn how to manage your bills kasi may, may, mag-handle ka, Bill. Right. So, in mm-hmm. your personal life, pwede mo ma-apply. <laughs> Correct. When, when I go to to the different telecommunications company here in the Philippines, alam ko na kung paano yung Bill. So, hindi uh-huh. mo na ako mapapaikot-ikot ngayon sa, sa, ano, sa, sa postpaid plan mm-hmm. or whatever. Because I already know it. So, you will learn a lot of things when you are in in the call center or BPO industry. Kasi yung companies nga, they are now willing to invest on learning. Mm-hmm. And halimbawa, nakita nila sa'yo, you have a potential to be a leader, they will train you, they will send you to trainings like Six Sigma probably. Mm-hmm. Or, yes. Yeah. Or, or uh, yung mga leadership training, like essence of leadership, mga ganyan. Um, you will learn the basics one at a time. Perfect. Yun. Anyway, enjoy, di ba? I mean, super iklipo ng one hour. I mean, <laughs> napakarami pa namin mga topics. But if you would like to learn more about call center stuff, just go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's M.A. Buendia HD. May mga babatiin ba kayo? Mabilis lang. Frank. Uh, ako, um, uh, wala naman. <laughs> you can just uh, also like my my official Facebook page. That's Events Hosting by Frank Reese. I do um, hosting for... Uh, social and um, private events. So, yes, um, yung mentor namin, si Twinkle. Twinkle, and, Chris Mamalabuyo. And, and yung friend namin, si Jel, and our friends uh, sa, sa companies and outside the, the BPO industry, our families. Tsaka, yes, uh, for, yeah, um, nag, nag-host din po ako. Uh, the, uh, you give talks as well. Yeah, I give talks. So, uh, the, the groovy host. And, yeah, <laughs> also, uh, please support you on Brand. the Microphone Club. Yes! yes. Uh, th- we are PNC, actually yes. all from the Microphone, the microphone Club. Club. So, yeah. yung mga gustong maging uh, uh, host, mga radio DJs, and yung anything that you will use your voice, you can join the Microphone Club. You can just uh, contact us to, yeah. to join. Right. And also, please follow me on my Instagram. That's at Tony Bilaro. That's T-O-N-I-B-I-L-A-R-O. And uh, I will soon have my YouTube channel. Pasensya na po. Medyo nadidelay. <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, also follow our Laura and Antonio Events Management. That's uh, the company that I, o- that I own as well wow. uh, for events, weddings, birthdays, and whatever have you. If you want fun, then you can hire us as your coordinators. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Tanya Sempron. And then I also have this online shop where I sell cosmetics, and I'm using it. <laughs> My goodness. No, at the Ratch online shop. It's the T H E R A C H. Then online shop. Alright, okay. that's it. I think uh, see you guys next week mga ka-teammate. Makakarinigan po ulit tayo para sa isang oras na naman ng motivation, inspiration, and empowerment dito lang sa Call Center Radio. And muli isangalan ng aming founder at producer ang nag-iisang voice master ng Pilipinas, Pocholo de Leon Gonzalez. See you next week guys. Ako po ang inyong Call Center vlogger M.A. Buendia HD. And I am your engineer BPO teammate Tanya Sampron. And I am your events host teammate the, ter- the terrific host Frank Rizzo. <laughs> Yeah. See you next week. Log out now. Log out now. Happy, happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend.